Welcome to Santo Domingo, where history comes to life. And just ahead, we see Alcazar de Colón. Welcome to the Museum of the Royal Houses. That's a mammoth looking like tusk. So those who are interested in history, this is the museum and the room for you. And here we're back to the discovery of the various Americas, Descubrimiento, and you can see there you got Puerto Rico, Cuba, Jamaica, Pacific Ocean, Mexico. Welcome to Santo Domingo where history comes to life. Our journey begins in the Zona Colonial area on the right side of this zone where we're transported back in time. The well-preserved buildings and narrow streets make you feel as if you're walking through a living museum. And just ahead we see Alcazar de Colón, a magnificent 16th century palace known for its stunning architecture and rich history which just looks beautiful. Let's now give you a 360 degree tour of this square just outside this historical building. It's a really nice day today. People are out and about on this weekend and it's just really nice being here exploring historical areas, the Zona Colonial area and it's lively, it's buzzing and it's just really nice being here. Welcome to the Museum of the Royal Houses. That's a mammoth looking like Tusk and just before that we saw a soldier in red. Wow, incredible. Let's now proceed to the main room. Let's now proceed into the first room. There is some text in Spanish which greets me and it sets the stage for the colonial history that unfolds. To my left, I find a collection of ancient letters from centuries ago, a glimpse into the past. Moving forward, I discover an exhibit dedicated to the Descubrimiento, featuring four explorer ships and navigation equipment. And the accompanying information mentions Vicente Yanez Pinzon and Martin Alonso Pinzon, key figures of the era. Further along, this reads Los Aborigines al Momento del Descubrimiento, which talks about the demographics in 1517. To my delight, a remarkable 3D map of the Dominican Republic adorns the wall. And the text besides it translates as Crispus Fort Foundation in the year of 1492. And next to this, the history continues with this translating as Barter reflecting the exchange of cultures. Let's now head to the other side of the room and in the meantime you can see the size of the museum there. This room is huge and it has a lot of information in this room. So those who are interested in history, this is the museum and the room for you. There you can see between 1502 and 1509 the expansion of Santo Domingo. And here we're back to the discovery of the various Americas, Descubrimiento, and you can see there you got Puerto Rico, Cuba, Jamaica, Pacific Ocean, Mexico, Santo Domingo, Peru, and you got various other countries as well. You've got Nicaragua and you've got Yucatan as well. This is great information. I'll put it in the description everyone so you can have a read about that as well. At this side we can see a striking wooden artwork capturing the Americas, Europe, Africa 
and the myriad routes to the Caribbean. It's a fascinating testament to the age of exploration. As I move into the next room, I see a bell on the ground there, on the platform, and I see another explorer ship in the next room, besides which is a text about Sir Francis Drake, which, who, who was an English explorer and privateer, best known for his circumnavigation of the world in a single expedition between 1577 and 1580. Stepping outside into the museum's courtyard, I'm surrounded by beautiful architecture. The windows, though barred up, hint at stories of the past, secrets of this colonial enclave. Inside the next room, an impressive display of body armor, swords, helmets, guns, and various types of protection takes center stage. The exhibit also features bow and arrow guns, a testament to the weaponry of the time. And as I show you the whole wider room, you can see there, there are so many guns, swords, various types of weaponry used at the time, which is so fascinating and amazing. And I was so eager to capture this where you can see guns and bow arrows, but more importantly, you can see a breathtaking array of historical artifacts. You can see the swords, a diverse and formidable collection, which are testament to the artistry of swords smiths from various corners of the world. Among them I spot medieval broadswords, finely crafted rapiers and imposing claymores, each reflecting the distinct fighting styles and cultural influences of their time. As I practice martial arts using weaponry, I am so taken aback by the various diverse range of swords here. It is just amazing. And in the final room, I find paintings of individuals who left their mark on history. A solemn cross on a table reminds me of the cultural and spiritual significance of this era. As I conclude this virtual journey through the Museum of the Royal House here in Santo Domingo, I'm left with a deep appreciation for the rich history and cultural heritage that this remarkable museum encapsulates. Ascending to the top floor, I gaze outside the window where I spot my friend waiting outside and a ship just ahead on the horizon. The view from here provides a unique perspective on the historical heart of Santo Domingo. So everyone, I have been up since 6am. I've had a long day today. I've watched the sunrise. I've traveled to Santo Domingo from Punta Cana. I've seen the Free Ice Cave after checking in. I've given you a streets walking tour. I've come to this museum. And guess what? The day hasn't ended yet. So I watched this space. More videos to come. I hope you enjoyed my travels. But guess what? We've still got to explore Santa Domingo and also see the nightlife. What a long day it's been, but this is The Fun Traveller. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Hey guys, how you doing? Please do subscribe to my channel and all social media if you want to follow me on my travel adventures, my trips. <laughs>